Sleep apnea is a serious sleep disorder in which breathing repeatedly it starts and stops. Now snoring loudly and still feeling very tired after a full night's sleep are signs one might have sleep apnea. The most common type that we all are aware of sleep apnea is being the obstructive sleep apnea which is the more common form that occurs when the throat muscles usually relax. Now with this concept in mind the question here arises which group of people in this condition more prevalent and why does this happen Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news I am Dr Nandita Mohan and today I am going to discuss about sleep apnea being more prevalent in post menopausal women According to a new study published this week in the Open Access Journal Plus One, middle-aged women with low levels of estrogen and progesterone are more likely to snore and to report symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea. The prevalence of obstructive sleep apnea is reportedly higher in women with after menopause. However, no population-based study has previously examined whether this is the result of an altered sex hormone level. Now in the new study the researchers analyzed data from close to 774 women aged between 40 to 67 years women in the study they participated in questionnaires on their respiratory health women's health factors lifestyle sleep and also gave blood samples for hormone analysis it was then observed that 71.2% of the women in the study were told that they snored and 411 of those women also reported other symptoms of sleep apnea Now among all the women a doubling of serum concentration of estrogen was associated with 19% decreased odds of snoring also a doubling of progesterone levels was associated with a 9% decreased odds of snoring while among the snorers a doubling of the concentration of three estrogens was associated with 17 to 23% decreased odds and these women have been told that they breathe irregularly during their sleep while the doubling concentration of progesterone among the snorers was associated with a 12% decreased odds of having woken with a choking sensation in the previous year the authors hence concluded that adjusting the female sex hormones might be a strategy to decrease the higher prevalence and also the associated morbidity of obstructive sleep apnea that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.